You'll hear the term sovereign citizen referred to by uh, many of the people in the right-wing domestic uh, community. You'll also hear the term uh, patriot. Uh, you may also hear the term uh, uh, common, common law advocate, constitutionalist, and they all pretty much uh, mean the same. Sovereign citizen is a concept that they developed uh, which makes reference to two types of citizens in this country. There are citizens in this country whose status as a citizen was uh, created by legislation of the federal government. And these types of individuals are commonly referred to as 14th Amendment citizens. And their belief is that only 14th Amendment citizens are liable to pay taxes because their status as a citizen was created by legislation. So if you are a, a naturalized citizen, if you are living on a federal property like a uh, uh, national forest or on a military reservation or in the District of Columbia, then you are uh, liable to pay income taxes and licensing fees. On the other side, they believe that sovereign citizens are all people who are born with an uh, inalienable right not to pay taxes, and the government has no uh, uh, authority in creating a, a tax structure on them. Some of it goes back to the way our uh, currency is, uh, is currently uh, being conducted with Federal Reserve notes, because they believe Federal Reserve notes are not really currency. They are a contract with the government so that uh, they claim that when they receive these Federal Reserve notes in salary that that's not really money so the government can't provide any taxes on it. They believe that if you use a uh, Social Security card or if you uh, use zip codes that you are entering into a contractual arrangement with the government and that you are voluntarily paying these taxes. But you can re-invoke your rights as a sovereign citizen by uh, filing a, a set of forms that you can pretty much download almost uh, on all of their sites today and file these papers with your county clerk and you no longer have to pay taxes, you, can, you don't have to abide by any firearms legislations, you don't have to uh, uh, listen to an officer on a traffic stop. And it all has its basis in their interpretation of common law. They believe that under common law there cannot be a uh, crime without a citizen complaint. And that's their whole rationale behind the issue of traffic stops that the officer is the complainant in a traffic stop and therefore the officer has no legitimate authority in stopping them because only a citizen can file a complaint and then the police must respond. So basically it's a belief system that allows them in their eyes to uh, not pay taxes, not pay license fees, uh, not have to register their firearms, uh, not pay any property taxes and that the police and the judicial system basically have no authority over them because they are governed by the common law and must go to a common law court in order to have their case uh, adjudicated in their uh, interpretation.